lengths of horizontal and vertical line segments. Here we're asked to find the length of line segment A, B. And then so that's how we write line segment A, B. And then we're going to say is a certain amount of units long. Now, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to go ahead and read as to what the coordinates of A would be. And that's the x, y coordinates. And then so the coordinates for A, point A, would be 3, 2. The coordinates for point B would be 9, 2. And remember that coordinates go x, then y. Now the length of this line segment is determined in this case by subtracting 9 and 3, which are the x-coordinates, because the y-coordinates are the same. And then so 9 minus 3 is 6. And then so again, we compared, since the x-coordinates are the ones that are different, we compared them to find out how far apart they were, 9 minus 3, which is equal to 6. And then so we say that line segment AB is 6, units long. So from A to B, we have one unit away, two units away, three units away, four, five, and six units long. Not always will we have a graph where it is that we can count. Remember, you can't count that as one. You have to go one away is one, two, three, four, five, and six units long. So that is a common mistake. And in this case, this is a horizontal line segment because it goes from left to right. Here we're asked to find the length of line segment C, D. And then for point D, the coordinates for point D are going to be, let's see, five, one, five, one. The coordinates for C are 5, and then that looks like it is an 8. 5, 8. In this case, it is the x coordinates that are the same. So what we do is we compare the y coordinates. We're comparing 8 with 1. How far away is 8 from 1? So we subtract that. 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. And then so we say that line segment CD is 7 units long. Again, I can count that for you from C to D, point, point C to point D. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units long. 7 units long. This one is a vertical line segment. Again, not always will you have a coordinate plane to be able to just count. So you have to be able to figure out the lengths of line segments from just the ordered pair. In this case, it is the x coordinates that are the same. So we compare the y coordinates of these ordered pairs. And to compare 17 and 10, we subtract them. We take the larger number and subtract the smaller number away from it. 17 minus 10 is 7. So we say that line segment GL is 7 units long. Here we have negative 2, 5, 3, 5. It might help us to kind of think about what it is that this one might look like in a coordinate plane. And then so remember it's x-axis, y-axis for negative 2, 5. Be about here, negative 2 and 5. For 3, 5, we go over towards the right 3 first and then go up to get to 5. And then so that would be our line segment. So we're talking about a horizontal line segment where this for the x was negative 2 this for the y was 5. 
and this right here for the x would be 3. So really what we're talking about is how far away it is from negative 2 to 3. We know that's negative 2, that would be negative 1, that's 0. And then we have 1 and 2. So to count from there, we would just count from there. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So in other words, this is 5 units long. This line segment is 5 units long. Technically, you can do the same steps that we did before, where you went the larger number 3 minus minus 2. 3 minus a negative is plus, so that's 3 plus 2, which equals 5. There's always more than one way to solve a problem. Line segment KR is 5 units, or 5 units long. And it's because we are counting how far away negative 2 was from 3. Because the x coordinates are the ones that varied. Here we have points M and points D. Negative 2, negative 7, negative 2, negative 3. Since these two are the same, x coordinates are the same, we're going to compare the y coordinates, negative 7, negative 3. What we could do is we can actually just write those numbers out from negative 7 to negative 3. And in this case, since we're going, um, negative 3 is going to be larger, we're going to go ahead and count up from negative 7. Negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, and negative 3. And then so counting from there, that'd be 1 unit away, 2 units away, 3 units away, and 4 units away. So line segment MD is 4 units long. Writing that out, it would be negative 3 minus negative 7, which is equal to negative 3 plus 7, which would equal 4. Here, you try. This is points A and point C. So line segment AC is how many units long? How many units is it? Remember, in this case, you're going to compare 12 and 5 because negative 1, the x-coordinates, are the same. Write out the whole problem and solve it. Show that work. Did you do 12 minus 5, which equals 7? Seven? 7 units long. All right, hopefully you were able to solve this here, and we're only going from negative 2 to 3. Negative 2, negative 1, 0. 1, 2, and 3. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units long. How long is line segment CL? How long is that? Think about going from negative 6 to negative 2 and to count from there. Hit pause while you're trying to solve this. Negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, up oh, negative 2. So that's 1, 2, 3, and 4. So line segment CL is 4 units long. Writing out a number sentence for that, that would have been negative 2 minus a negative 6, which equals negative 2 plus 6, which equals 4. So let's go ahead and review. Again, coordinates go x and then y. And in order to figure out the lengths of these vertical and horizontal line segments, you need to figure out which of those coordinates are the same for the points that you are looking at. And in this case, for line segment gr, it is the x coordinate that is the same. These x-coordinates are the same. Therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at those y-coordinates there, and we're going to compare those. To compare them, we subtract them, where we take the larger one, which in this case would be 9, and we subtract the 2 from there. In this case, the negative 2 from there, that is. And then so that's 9 minus a negative 2, which is equal to 9 plus 2, which equals 11. 
So again, when you subtract a negative number, you are actually just adding. You're just adding the inverse of that negative number. So that's why that becomes 9 plus 2 in that case, which is 11. So line segment GR is 11. 11 what? Units. Our other approach that we showed was to count down from 9 to get all the way to negative 2. Most of the time, what we were doing is we were counting up from negative 2 to get to 9. And the same way, though, we can write out all those numbers that are there as well. That'd be 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, and then negative 2. And then we count. Remember, you can't count that 9 because it's 1 away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Line segment GR is 11 units long.